Not a, it's a, not a scam. It's a legend call. Call connected. Transferring. Thank you for calling. The line has been raised to the Social Security Administration. How can I help you? I got, I got a voicemail to call this number from uh, Officer Bella Watson. <clears throat> from the, okay. Yeah, from the Social Security Department. Uh, I, I don't know. Something about fraudulent activities on my credit. I might not my credit. My Social Security. Okay, well, this is a place of federal administration for the Social Security, and you're talking to a federal officer here. My name is Officer Yutam Dillon, and this is extension number 326. Very good afternoon, sir. How are you doing today? Okay. It was good to hear, and how may I assist you? Like, could you help me with name so I can go ahead and pull up your record so I can go ahead and check it out for you? Yeah, my name is Dewey Decimal. How do you spell your name? D E W E Y. D E W E Y. E Y. Yep. My last name's Decimal. D E C I M A L. D E C I D E Decimal. Right. D E W E Y. D E W E Y. Dewey. Decimal. Is that your name? That's, yes, that's my name. Yeah. And may I have a zip code so I can go ahead and pull up a record so I can assist you in a better manner? 13118. You're from New York, from Moravia? Moravia, New York. Okay. For the security purpose, sir, could you verify me your social so I can go ahead and check the status that exactly what is happening under your name and why the Social Security Administration is trying to get a hold of you on such a limited basis? Uh, 0861014163. You're going to have to slow down. It's 086. 10. 10. Mm-hmm. 1463. Mm-hmm. And what's the date of birth to make sure that these informations are correct? 3 16 1950. Give me a moment. Let me go ahead and validate these information in my system. So you're from the with the social court issued to you in the state of uh, New, New York, York, right? Yeah, yeah. New York. You're reading back your social one more time. Zero eight six one zero one four six three. Uh, but I can see here in my system that this social was issued in the period of one nineteen thirty six to nineteen fifty. Yeah, I was so, born in 1950. Let me check. Give me a moment. Okay. All right. Well, I can see here in my system that I just got a file pulled up here, Dewey. And I can see here in my system that the reason why you have been contacted today was to inform you regarding some legal enforcement actions on your social security number as we have got an order to suspend your social security number. and. Someone else is trying to misuse your information for doing some criminal activities. So are you aware about this or do you receive any phone call from a local police department or any patrolling officer try to contact you this morning with a court summons or court papers or subpoenas? Uh, no. Why would they come here? No. Why would they come here? Okay, so you're saying that you're not aware about the situation happening in your name or someone is using your information, correct? Well, no, I'm not aware of it, no. That's what I'm calling you, I guess. Okay. I don't know. Well, let me tell you that actually what's going okay. on, actually we are receiving some serious complaints that your personal information has been used to commit the fraud with the federal government. So we Uh-oh. just try to what, reach what you to make sure that whether I'm um, coming up to that point. Okay. Let me tell you that the investigation started under your name and under your social security number when we received a complaint about an abandoned car on the south border of Texas, which is also a border to Mexico. And yeah, it the is, make and yeah. model of that car was 2006 Toyota Corolla black colored with the TIN number TX-796016. The car contained some blood and drug residues inside it, hence after investigation we found that the car was rented on your name and on your personal I'm social in, information. I'm in New York. Okay. So do you know someone who lives there at this present time or have you ever been there? Oh, I've been there. Yeah, I used to work down there. I worked in a library down there. 
Okay. Let me tell you that uh, the make and model of that car was 2006 Toyota Corolla that we found during investigation. And after investigation, we found that the car was rented a, on your name and on your... I've got, yes. a, cam I've got a Toyota no, Camry. I've got a Camry, but not a Corolla. Okay. Let me tell you that the car contains some blood and drug residues inside it. Okay. And after investigation, we found that the car was rented on your name and on your personal social information. Huh. And there was an address linked with that title of the vehicle that was 20 Wacos Avenue, San Antonio, Texas, 78240. And that address was raided by the U.S. Marshals last weekend. Okay. But unfortunately, there was no one found inside that residence, but okay. we have recovered. Five pounds of cocaine, which is an Ooh. abusive drug, some bags filled with synthetic drug section, and some documentation, some checkbooks, and some memorandums with different Track financial books. banks, with different financial institutes in different different states. I don't know what track books are. You, you got to slow down, sir. No, some, okay. I found, I see, I was saying that the address that we found was yeah. raided by the U.S. I got that part. last right. weekend. Okay. But unfortunately, there was no one found inside that residence, but we have recovered five pounds of cocaine, which is an abusive drug. Yes, I got that. Some bags full with synthetic drugs section. Some documents, some checkbooks. Some oh, checkbooks. checkbooks. And some okay, memorandums. I got it. I got it. Okay. Some memorandums with different financial banks, with different financial institutes in different, different states. Okay. And those documentation says your name on it and thousands of dollars has been wired from those bank accounts locally and internationally, which totally seems suspicious to us. And okay. that is the reason the federal administration has filed a case against you for drug trafficking and money laundering. Against me. And that is why, yes. And that is why we just try to reach you to make sure to know your side of the story, that what you have to say about this. Okay. So that we can make sure that whether you are actually involved I'm not with those involved. group of culprits no, or with I'm, those group I'm of not, criminals I'm who not, are trying to I'm, commit the fraud. I'm not involved. I, I, I don't even want me to tell you. I'm not involved. Okay. So you're saying that you want to know that person involved in this kind of activities or it must be someone else who's trying to get a well, hold yeah, of information? Well, yeah, it must be somebody else. Yeah, it must be somebody else. I mean, I haven't been to Texas in okay. quite a few years. I used to work in a library down there, and I was in charge okay. of the nonfiction books. But that was quite a mm -hmm. while ago. I retired I now, yes. Okay. Okay, well, if that is the situation, Desimil, I would like to ask you that you have any doubt on someone, like who it could be who might have done this thing to you or who might have stolen your personal well, information? There was a guy that when I worked in the library, his name was Kenny mm -hmm. Kay, and he was always mad at me because I got the perfect pastor award at the library school. And he, he always held that against me. His name is Kenny K, and uh, he lives, I'm not quite sure if he's still, I don't think he still lives in Texas, though. I think he lives somewhere in the Midwest. And have you ever been to Arkansas as well? Arkansas? No, no. No. I think, okay. I think uh, Jimmy Carter's from there, but I'm, I've never been there. Okay. Have you ever received a phone call from a loan lending company that they might have lucrative loans for you and you might have shared your personal information to them? Or no. any IRS or IRS institution that someone is taking your tax benefit somewhere else in different city or different state? No, but I haven't got my, uh, what do you call that, that uh, thing they're passing out the free money? I didn't get that yet either. Okay. Can, can you look yeah, into that? Are you connected your... with them people to give out the, uh, I forgot what they call it, the, the $600 I'm supposed to be getting from the federal government? Okay. See, I do understand your concern that the information which we have received under your name may not belong to you, but someone may have access to your personal information at this present time. And the way you talk to me, you seem to be quite genuine, and you seem to be a victim of identity theft to me. So are you trying to so. understand what I'm trying to say to you? Yeah, I think Kenny K did. He always held it against me for and, getting that perfect posture award. 
because he thought he should get it. <laughs> okay. He was a mope. He never did what he was supposed to. Okay. So you have to make sure that, see, we do not know that who is the real source of a leak of your identity. Okay. So it could be who might have done this thing to you or who might have stolen your personal information. If you go ahead and start talking about this case to any third person, okay, to the, your friends, to your family members, okay, to your neighbor, there can be a chance those people who are actually involved in this matter could be one of them, okay? Could be, but and I they st can I'm, get still, alert. I'm they still might... leaning towards Kenny K. Yes. They can get alert, they might stop using the social, they might try to get you wrongfully arrested. So if that something happens wrong, we won't be able to help you then, okay? Okay. So at this present time, whomever you share your investigation details, okay, could be a possible suspect, okay? So you have to make sure that till the time this investigation should not be resolved, you should not talk about this case with anyone, okay? Okay. But yes, once we receive with this matter, then you can talk about this with anyone, okay? Okay. But not before that. No. Now, being your case officer, what I'm going to do, I'm putting my signatures on your affidavit and reporting okay. this case to the higher authority. Yeah, tell and them. And registering this case with the federal government so okay. that we can try to drop all the charges under your name. Okay. And what we have to do, we have to suspend your social security number now, okay? Well, what about because my $600 benefit I'm supposed to get? You will keep on receiving. That will not be altered, okay? What we have to do, we have to reissue a new one. Because those criminal has your information here. So after that, if any third person try to misuse your information, so we will come to know that where those criminals are, so that we can go ahead, arrest them, put them behind the bars, and we can identify it's not you, okay? Okay, that's it. okay. Now, I would like to ask you that what address would you like me to send your new social security number? To my house. Okay. Could you verify me your address? One hundred. Could you me your address? One hundred Main Street, Moravia, New York, one three one one eight. Is that a house? Yeah, it's a house. Okay. How many? Okay. Now, so tomorrow, what we will do that we are going to schedule the appointment with the federal officers, and by tomorrow morning. We're going to schedule your appointment with them, okay? Okay, okay. So that you will receive your documentation, you have to make sure quiet. that will be, you should be available there. Pally, Pally, quiet down. But parrot, okay, go ahead. Uh, who's that third person with you? It's, it's my parrot, it's not a person. Okay, all right, okay. All right, now, there's one more problem that we are facing here. Uh, okay. Okay, well, we face now, here now. Do you now, you think that you are not that person involved in this kind of activity? No, I'm someone not. else is trying to get a hold it's of information, somebody else, right? And I still think it's Kenny well, K. If, okay. He really well, didn't like me. Situation, he, he really took a burn when I won that Perfect Pasture Award. Where does he live? In the, he used to live in Texas. That's why I think it's him. Then he moved to the Midwest and somewhere. How, so I don't know where he is. In the and Midwest. how was... And how was your relations with him? Like, what happened? Like, do you, what do you think that it could be? Well, see, we worked together in the library, and he was in charge mm -hmm. of the magazines. I was in charge of the nonfiction, of course. And he... Okay. He, I got this award for the Perfect Pastor Award, and he thought he should get it. Well, he's only in charge of magazines. He's not going to get no award. And, and along with that award, mm -hmm. I got a raise. And he thought he should have got it. So every time I saw him, he'd try to trip me when I'd be walking in between the books. He'd, he'd stick his foot out, and I didn't see it. And one time, I fell down, and he laughs. And I, he, he just didn't like me ever since I got that award for the Perfect Pastor. Okay. See, right now here, my system shows there are more than these criminals who you try to misuse your information. They open 15 bank accounts and six, seven credit cards, okay? Okay. Under your name. Yes. Okay. So what we are doing, do, what we are going to do, that we are going to suspend your social so that we can go ahead and close all the fraudulent bank accounts, okay? Yeah, close all the fraudulent ones, yeah. We do not know that what is the name of the bank you bank with. Oh, I'll here, tell you, okay? my, my bank, and then you can close out the other ones, all right? Okay. Okay. So, first of all, we need to identify that which is the bank that you, which, which bank you bank with, so we can make sure that we should not close that down, okay? 
and I can talk to the talk, talk higher authority so they yes. can make them understand about your situation. I hope they do. So what is yeah. the name of the bank you bank with? City Bank. Before we go ahead and close all the banks, City Bank. Yeah, okay? City. And what kind of accounts you're holding with them? Is that checking or saving? I got both, the checking and savings. And you know, see, with the City Bank you're saying you have two accounts, but I can see here there are more than six accounts are available. It's are you City sure bank? that you have only... Yes. Oh, no. I only got two accounts. I only got two accounts. Okay. See, each account has some balances available there. Some has even more than $5,000. Some has $6,000. Some has even more than that, like fifty to $60,000 balance available. Oh, I haven't got that much. And it is very hard for... Sorry? I haven't got that much. Fifty, sixty thousand. I haven't got that much in there. Okay. And it is very hard for us to identify where, which one is truly yours. Okay. okay. So if you could tell me that what was the last balance that you had in this account that you're holding, in so my we can check identify it from the In my checking, in my checking, I had in my checking, I had probably thirty-five hundred. How much? Three thousand five hundred. What about your savings? Savings for six thousand. I got there, but that's all I got. Okay. Um, what about the credit? Do you have any credit cards or credit accounts? Yeah, I got a credit card. What if I got a visa? How many credit accounts do you have? Just I got one visa with the Citi Bank. You have a credit card with Citi Bank, right? Yes, Citi Bank. Yes. Do you know what is the limit of that? What is the credit line they have issued so we can uh, identify five, from the first five, credit card? Five thousand, five thousand dollars is the limit. And how much do you think? How much do you think that you owe them? What's the charge on it? So we can uh, I identify. I probably owe them five hundred dollars. Okay. Okay, so let me do one thing for you, Decimal, here. Let me okay. talk to the courthouse. Okay. okay. Let me make them understand about your situation here. Okay. Yes. Tell them it wasn't these me. These are the only accounts. Okay. These are the only accounts that you have. Okay. And I, you should not yeah, close that. Okay. You should not close mine. So, yeah. So let me go ahead and talk to them. Okay. In see the meantime, what they say. I want you to stay. Con okay. I yeah, want no, you to I'll stay be, connected. I'll be connected okay? here. Yes. And whatever the final decision I would be getting from the court jury members, I will be heading. To, uh, ha I will be forwarding those informations to you. Okay, I'll let me know what the jury said. Yeah. Okay, talk to the jury members. Okay. Okay. Just stay connected. I will. I just will. give me two or three minutes, and I'll be right okay, back. I'll but right make here. sure okay. that do not hang up. I won't. And find a place where you can sit. Okay. okay. Find a silent place. Find just a place I can sit. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Like a silent place, like a silent place. Silent where place. Can sit and talk. S uh, okay. Yes, uh, okay. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. Give me a moment. I'll be uh, right back. Okay. Please okay. make sure do not hang up. I'll be right back. I won't. Okay. Thanks for the hold. Uh, yeah. Mr. G, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. So I just went to the courthouse and just oh, tried okay. to talk to them. What to they make say? Okay. Yeah. Uh, I just had words with them with them and I submitted recordings to them first of all for 20 minutes okay for which I submitted the conversation for 20 minutes there okay yeah. Yeah. whatever the conversation we had and they listened to that re those recordings very carefully okay yeah okay after good. that they checked your records on the national criminal database mm -hmm. and they also found that you have been a law-abiding citizen you have been a law-abiding person through your whole life right and they never found any kind of serious issues with any government institution. Wow, right? yeah, there's no, social <clears throat> security at one time, at one time, no, but I guess they didn't find it. Okay, go ahead. Yes, go ahead. You, what, why, go ahead. I, me, the time I shot that man in Reno, and uh, I don't know why they didn't show up, but that's okay, I guess. It don't matter now. See, uh, what they're saying that you never had any kind of intentions to defraud your federal government. Well, oh, no, I would you, never right? defraud them. You never had any kind of actions against the nation, okay, against the national security, right? No, I wouldn't do nothing and the that's national why security. The federal government is considering you as a law-abiding citizen, okay? Okay. And that's why they're considering, okay, they have agreed to coordinate with you, okay? okay, and they have agreed to reissue a new social security number that okay. will be sent to you by tomorrow morning, okay, okay? at your mailing address. 
you have to make sure that tomorrow you have to be available at your mailing oh, address wait, between oh, 10 and 12 noon. Let me get this. Hold on a minute. Hello? 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 Yes. Yes. Oh, hi, Mike. How are you? Yeah. No, I'm on the phone with Social Security. They, they, uh, somebody used my Social Security card in Texas. Yeah. 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 So let me call you back. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm back. Okay, go ahead. Uh, do you, you have to make sure that you should not talk about this case to anyone. You should not give this information to anyone that there is about the investigation about your social security. Because we do oh, not know... Oh, I didn't know, know that. Oh, okay. Oh. Because we do not know that who is trying to misuse your information, who is your enemy, okay? Who's my enemy? Yes, because we do not know that who is trying to misuse your information, okay? If those criminals get to know about this, they will try to run away from this matter or hide themselves. Oh, they would. If that something happens wrong, we won't be able to help you then. They oh, might try to harm you okay. as well. Okay. Okay. Who are you talking to? Oh, it's, um, it's my wife. What should I tell her? You can say that you're talking to your friend. I'm talking to my friend. Oh, you're... Yes. Okay. What friend is that? All right. God, it's, uh, my Mike. Mike. I told her it was Mike. Okay, go ahead. All right. Okay. 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 See, so yeah, they okay. have agreed to coordinate with you, okay, they have tried, they have agreed to work with you, okay, okay. And, and they have taken a decision to reissue a new social screen number, okay, okay. tomorrow we're going to send a federal officer, okay, and they're going to do the proper verification and give you your new social security card, okay. Okay, that's, okay. when do I get the new and card? And they will take your signature, oh. between, by tomorrow. Okay. Okay by a backlog reduction team okay they're gonna help you out with that and moreover uh they said that as your social security number has been used to commit the fraud with the federal government so they were believing that it was you who try who might be involved in this matter, oh, no, okay? it wasn't me i told so, i told you that didn't you tell them it yes, wasn't me yes 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 oh, okay. so what they have said that till the time till the time this investigation should not be resolved uh, till that time, you ha they have to keep you under federal investigation till under 24 working hours, okay? Okay. Take that duck outside. Okay. Well, I didn't... Take it outside, I said. All right, stop. Oh, boy, what a nut house. Okay. She's going to put the duck outside. Okay. okay. Now, what they said, uh, I just tried to talk to them that... The only it's, bank Mr. Jew is dealing with is a city bank, okay? Yeah, you And he has only two to th two accounts with them. Okay? Uh, yeah, you so told him that, two accounts. Should, yes. Okay. That we should not touch that. We should, that we should not touch that and we should go ahead and close all the bank accounts, okay? But they said there is a problem here. Uh, there is a problem who here, Jerry. Who are you talking but to? The, what the I told you, it's Mike. Mike who? Mike, uh, Mike, uh, 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 uh Carster. Uh, all right, I'll tell you who it is. It's Social Security. And somebody used my Social Security sure, number you in have Texas. To in the and, confidentiality. And, and you remember Kenny K? I told you he was yeah. mad when I got the Perfect Posture Award at the yeah. library. Yeah. I think it was him. And I told this fellow that. And this fellow is going to help me. Oh, all right. If you need that help. Okay. If you can. Okay, silly Sue. Okay, go ahead. I had to tell her. She was getting mad. All right. Okay, all right. So what they said, they have taken, there is, a, uh, there is some problem that they, what they are saying that the courthouse has already decided to go ahead and close all the bank accounts, okay? Okay. Uh, and unfortunately, even they have to shut down your bank account as well, okay? <laughs> So they said that you have to open up a new bank account. I got to open up a new one? Yes, sir. And they said that you cannot keep the money in this bank, I don't, okay? I get them out of the house. Okay. I think we need to kill them and eat them. Okay, well, and they said I, that... Well, yeah, we could have fried chicken. 
Okay. And they said that moreover, if you're going to leave the funds in the bank, you will lose this money. The oh, money I don't want to lose, lose the, the money. money in, now we might lose our money in the bank. Well, why is that? Yes. Because they said they're going to cancel it. They can't do that. Okay. So then I just tried to talk to them that what can we do over this matter, okay? So they said that what Listen, they can do, I've heard that about this they can. Before and it's a scam. You think so? I do think so? so. I've heard that people have been scammed by this. Oh, Autumn. My wife says this might be a scam. Yeah. Sir, you're talking to a federal enforcement officer. This Did is I a federal. For any other personal this is a federal enforcement officer, Sally Sue. Where is he out of? Where are you? Where are you out of? She wants to know. In Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. That's where they are. That's where they really are. He's got to be telling the truth. Why would this Ben Chode lie? Maybe because his mother's a Rundy. That could be it. Is your mother a Rundy? Huh? You scamming bastard. Autumn, I'm talking to you. He hung up. <laughs> I had him before. Autumn Dillon. I remember the name. Oh. Yeah. Stupid.